for Medic 1. Today, we have got a treat. You may remember my uh, battery build video a couple of videos ago uh, where I actually ordered an, an assembled pack to go down into my uh, 18 volt snap-on uh, drill batteries. This awesome company was, uh, they sent me a message on YouTube and was like, man, we like your videos. Uh, would you be interested in building your own battery packs using our Sunco spot welding machine? And uh, I was like, heck yes. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and uh, we'll see how she uh, operates and I'll show you how to basically build your own battery packs using loose cells. You can order these cells on Amazon really really inexpensive and you can actually build the pack yourself for less than half the cost of buying them already assembled in this fashion here. The machine itself is uh, as you can tell is, is uh, very portable it's not very big at all and yet it packs a lot of punch. Uh, this model is the 737G, the 737G, and it has the uh, the foot pedal capabilities, and of course the LED screen, and uh, I mean the LCD screen, and the uh, it's got some really nice LED lights under here for your uh, work surface, and as you can tell, your probes are independent, and you can hear the micro switch so what you do is you take your hex wrench that comes with a package and it comes with two sets of uh, welding leads or bars they call them welding bars and you just stick them in and you tighten them up they go up through the top real simple uh, it just says any instructions that you can, you know, make this wider or narrower, however you want it, as long as they're not touching. The adjustment for your spring pressure, this is where you're going to uh, have to play around with it. So I went ahead and I got the machine plugged in, and uh, basically you're going to have a display that says 1P and um, some numerals below it uh, that's going to be the amperage of the uh, probes when you go to do your uh, spot welding in the instructions it says uh, that it's adjustable from 0 to 99 amps and it says to start out at no less than 40 to uh, weld batteries. Now if you're going to be welding uh, other materials like say you want to weld uh, a battery strap to a battery strap well you don't want to use that much amperage. You go ahead and you turn it down. Uh, it says to start at 60 so we're going to hit the star. We're going to up it to 60. Hit that you can change the second row of numbers here. I'm just going to go ahead and run it back down to 60. Hit the star again. And your pulse, your millisecond pulse, depending again on your thickness of the metal you're trying to weld, you can have one millisecond pulse or you can have a two I mean it's two pulses one millisecond each when you get ready to uh, weld I definitely recommend just using a, an old battery it don't have to be a sub C just use a, uh, a battery that's dead and some of the uh, nickel strips that the welder comes with just lay it across and uh, we'll give it a little quick weld here 
give it a couple of welds. It makes for a good solid weld. I'm going to do a pull test on this and just see what gives way. And as you can tell, the weld's pulled off, but it was super hard. So let's up the amperage and try it again. Let's see if we can get some better penetration. Let's try it at 80 amps. As you can tell that it's more current. Go ahead and try to pull this off again. Just ain't gonna be able to do it. It's ripping the material. And as you can tell, it left the material behind on the battery this time. So therefore, a good setting for the batteries that I'm going to be building it's probably going to be around 80 to 85 amps. And, you know, guys, I want you to learn from uh, my mistake. You know, this is the first time I've ever ordered loose batteries. I've never assembled a battery pack in my whole life. And uh, basically what I did is I ordered the sub-C cells with the battery tabs already uh, welded on they were a little more expensive than just the tabless sub -seas, but what happens is that whenever you are trying to orientate these batteries inside the case here your tabs don't always line up so what I would suggest would be to order them without tabs and then just cut right here you can the tabs that come with the welding machine are very robust and you can just cut and solder these on as you go instead of trying to finagle this thing around the the biggest hiccup that I had was all the cells were you know battery straps across except for this one that had a jumper that went down to here so basically what I did I just took a battery strap and went down the battery and underneath worked great I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you have to do it the easiest way that I have found so far and it took me you know a while to figure out uh, the best way to get these welded because like I said the battery uh, straps wouldn't let me line up where they needed to go so I would suggest just ordering loose cells without the straps and just weld your own straps on it'll be you'll have double the welding to do but it's worth it and in, in the long run but uh, just lay your old battery pack out like this and use this as a road map and you can put all of your battery straps and weld everything uh, inside the case and once you do that, you can take your batteries out, flip this over. This is the last piece that you want to weld on, but I should have, I kind of did this out of order for you guys, and I apologize. But whenever you finish this top piece, or you finish welding the top of the battery, you can just take it out of the case, flip it over, and put the batteries back down in the case, and then weld the bottom sides of the batteries.
and so on and so forth until you get all your battery straps welded in place. I think uh, 20, uh, $22, $23 I think it was for 15 of these batteries on Amazon shipped to my house and uh, if you run out of battery bars you can always order some more of those but those will last a long time you ought to be able to get several battery packs built out of that but uh, let's go ahead and get this battery pack reassembled and uh, get it charged up and see how she turns out so guys for less than right around 30 bucks you can rebuild your own battery packs I was kind of reluctant to want to do that but I couldn't say no with this spot welder that this company sent me go ahead and slide our freshly rebuilt pack onto the charger yeah I don't get a flashing light anymore it's steady let's let her run its course all the way up to 100 percent all righty guys we're at 100 percent and let's get her put on a drill and see what she sounds like gunner loves this dang drill watch this guys Silly boy. Anyway, guys, it turned out really well. Oh, you're gonna eat it. What, what's the matter with you, big mouth? Hey, if this helped you out, give me a thumbs up and always remember that uh, to click that bell to get all my new videos. I uh, hadn't posted one in a while and I apologize. Uh, took a little break. Need a break every now and then. Everybody deserves a vacation. But uh, in the link, links below will be a, a link to this machine and their website and uh, I don't want to give a definite price, but I think they're around $150, 160 less than that, plus tax, I think. But, so, I mean, you know, your initial cost to uh, buy the machine will more than pay for itself in the battery building savings that you can uh, stow upon yourself. So, get one of these and build your own battery packs, especially if you have... Uh, electric tools that the batteries are astronomical if you buy them from the manufacturer this one's over a hundred bucks uh, closer to 200 I believe and I was able to rebuild it for 30 bucks so totally awesome on that so y'all have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video more medic one mm -hmm.